high school algebra and classes beyond it, we spend a lot of time graphing equations. But it's useful for us to keep in mind why we actually do that. What are we actually looking at? What does the graph represent? A graph is actually a visual way to represent all the ordered pairs, all the x values, y values, which make the equation true. So this is the graph of the equation y equals 2x. And it represents all of the possible values for which that is true. For example, if I go to the point 1, 2, x value of 2, y value of 4, that is clearly on the line. And that is a solution to this. Because if x is equal to 2, if I plug in x equals 2, I get y is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Hence, 2, 4, this ordered pair, is going to be a point on my graph. And this holds not just for the integers, but for anything we could plug in. So if x is equal to negative 3.5, for example, y is going to be equal to 2 times negative 3.5, 3 3.5, which is 7. Sorry, negative 7. So also we're going to expect that negative 3.5, negative 7 is going to be a point on the line. If I go on my graph, if I go back, if I go back 1, 2, 3 and a half, I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And sure enough, my line runs right through it. So what we're seeing when we see this line is the set of all possible pairs of x's and y's, which make that true. Now, this is true for much more complicated types of equations as well. So the graph of y equals 1 half x squared is going to look like this. And again, it's a little bit harder to draw precisely, but the same principle applies. This graph represents all the solutions to this. Now, of course, we can only see explicitly a few of them, but these arrows indicate that it's going to continue in that direction forever, encompassing all solutions. Let's just take a look at, for example, what we get when we plug in 4 for x. So if x is equal to 4, y is going to be equal to 1 half of 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. So y is going to be half of 16, which is equal to 8. So the point 4, 8 is going to be on the graph. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, this is true for every single point that you see on your graph. Now, this is hard to read each and every one precisely, obviously, but it gives you a really good idea of what the function is going to behave in. And it tells you a lot of information at a glance. If you're going to list every possible value, that would be, um, well, you can't do every single one, but it would quickly become a very big table if you're going to fill it up with different types of values. But the graphical representation is a way of representing all of the possible order pairs that make the equation true. Hope that helps. Thank you.